All right, guys, so I got another Warhammer 40K figure from McFarland Toys to open up for you today. This is the Chaos Space Marine, and uh, I bought three figures right off the bat, and this is the one I've been waiting to open. This is the one that, I mean, come on, just look at him. He just looks cool in the package, and uh, this is the one I've been most excited about. So uh, we'll take a look at the package here real quick. Basic stuff, just like we've seen before. We've got a picture uh, on the side picture on the back him looking all cool uh, so let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see what we got inside all right guys here we are all right now before we look too much at him let's look at the accessories we've got here first up we've got a nice jet pack here looks pretty good we got some nice details on there we got all the little rivets and everything and the tubes and the vents there we got some spikes at the top looks pretty cool just clips right in the back we've also got uh, his carbine here so solid black, but we do have some bronze here at the front. Got a couple of mags coupled together there. Looks pretty good. Then of course we've got his bronze sword there. It's all one color. Could use a little paint, but uh, all in all looks pretty good. All right, so let's look at the figure itself. And man, I gotta say this guy looks awesome. Now look, like all the Warhammer stuff that we've been looking at so far, paint details are you know, well, they're 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 sparing on these on these figures. You know, there's not a lot of paint on these guys, but where there is paint, it is done perfectly. And look at the look at the sculpt on this guy. Just looking at the legs, the boots, got the wraps around the leg here. This piece right here is beautifully sculpted, nicely textured. The belt buckle there. We've got the gloves, we've got the spiked gloves here on the hand, the, the, the cuffs on the gauntlets. Look at these shoulder pads there, man, with the spike on it, the designs. We've got the skull over here, beautifully painted. The head sculpt on this thing is great. Love the horns. The paint on the horns is beautifully done. The nice red eyes looks just, just amazing here. Uh, as far as articulation goes, again, I'm figuring it's going to be about the same as the other one we've already looked at. Yeah, we pretty much just had the head rotation. I mean, technically, he is on a ball joint, but because of the helmet and the neck piece down in here, doesn't really do anything. <clears throat> Arms come up to about right here because he's got huge shoulder pads. We do have the bicep swivel here. We do have double-jointed elbows, which come up. I mean, considering how big that shoulder pad is, that's, that's pretty good. Then we do have a... Uh, a ball hinge here uh, but it doesn't do a lot honestly like it it, it just you know the cuffs for the gauntlets here kind of restrict the movement but I don't mind that that's fine with me and of course we've got torso movement there legs come up about right here so far that's about the biggest spread I've got on any of these uh, these Warhammer figures so far we got double jointed knees which come up just about as far as you could possibly want uh, we've got no rotation on this one like we did on one of the other ones. We do have the uh, toe hinge there and the boots themselves, honestly, because of this big cuff for the armor here, doesn't really move much on these guys, but doesn't seem to be too much of a problem and he stands great. So, I mean, this thing just looks awesome. Let's go ahead and plug in his backpack here. So we've got that there. Yeah, this thing just looks great, man. The details on this are really well done even with the very basic paint scheme that this thing has it just looks phenomenal I mean it really really does I'm really digging this line quite a bit so let's go ahead and throw up some comparisons and see how he stacks up all right so of course we're gonna compare them to the other two that I have from this Warhammer 40k line uh, you know we've got the battle sister we've got the other ultramarine and look, he, he's perfect right there in the middle. He's taller than the Battle Sister, slightly shorter than the Ultramarine. Great armor all around. I mean, this just looks fantastic together. And here he is with Raven Spawn and Flashpoint Batman looking pretty good standing between the two of them. And for some six inch coverage here, we got him with Cyborg Spider-Man from Marvel Legends and Marvel Legends 80 Years Thor looking pretty nice. And for some other 7-inch scale armored men, on the left, we've got War Machine Iron Man from ZD Toys. And on the right, we've got Man-at-Arms from Mattel's Masterverse. And finally, for some import goodness, we've got a couple of Revoltech. On the left, we've got Iron Man Mark VI. And on the right, we've got Iron Man Mark II. 
All right, guys, so let's talk price, and you already know what I'm going to say here. 20 bucks. $19.99 is the going price for this guy right now. I even picked him up a little bit cheaper at GameStop. He was on sale for $17.94. So, 20 bucks, man. I mean, I know I have said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Where else for $20 can you get this quality of a 7-inch scale figure with all this articulation, all this sculpt, great paint apps I mean this thing is just amazing and it's 20 bucks like there's not really a better deal in action figures right now this is probably better than anything else McFarlane is currently doing in my opinion you may disagree and again it's maintaining that McFarlane price of $19.99 man this is just a great deal so far I'm only three figures in and this line has highly highly impressed me uh, I think it is the best thing McFarlane is doing right now, and I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to be picking up more of these, and uh, I think you should too, guys. I really, really do. If you love good action figures, even if you don't particularly care about you know, McFarlane or Warhammer, man, this is just a great line to pick up, and I do not think you will regret it.